Introduction to Energy Efficiency So, what specific SOP might help save energy? What are some of the easiest ways to save energy? Here are some examples to kick off your team's creative thinking. For lighting your offices and workplaces, use as much natural light as possible from windows and openings. Delamping. Remove unnecessary lighting in areas that do not require much light. Replace failed light bulbs with energy efficient types. Turn off lights in unoccupied areas. And use lower voltage light bulbs in areas where bright lighting is not necessary. If you have an air conditioning system, make sure windows and doors are closed so cool air does not escape. Clean filters and coils regularly to ensure high efficiency. Set temperature to 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Every one degree below 23 consumes more energy. When it is time to replace old air conditioning equipment, choose energy efficient models. Use ventilation fan only during non-peak temperature periods. And if airflow wall exhaust fan system is used, make sure the air can flow from one side, air in, to the other side, air out. If boilers are used, set the pressure appropriate to operate site equipment and nothing more. Often pressure setting is higher than needed Hence, more energy is used and wasted. If ions are used, instead of steam-powered ions, use electrically powered ones, which are cheaper to operate. If compressed air is used, insulate pipes and repair damaged pipes. Stop compressed air leaks. You can hear the air leak noise in the factory when operators have gone home. Reduce system pressure by eliminating equipment that is no longer in use. Replace the compressed air tools with more energy efficient electrical equipment. For your building, improve insulation for roof and walls. Use double glazed windows that can dramatically reduce heat or cooled air loss. Use energy during non-peak hours. Where possible, conduct activities during non-peak hours when electricity is cheaper. For example, charging batteries at night, etc. These are just some of many ways you can help conserve energy. Remember, even though energy management is outside the scope of work for most workers in your factory, management cannot do this alone. Be sure to engage your employees by asking them to identify energy wastes. You might consider introducing an incentive program to encourage participation and award achievements to eco-friendly workers. This is a great way to uncover savings opportunities, as well as to engage workers to build an environmentally friendly workplace.